Coming up on this episode of Design to the Nines, I am just absolutely loving how my huge heart-shaped topiary turned out in the end, but I did have some challenges along the way. So if you wanna see how I overcame those challenges and how you can avoid them, then you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. Welcome to Design to the Nines. I'm Natalie Callahan, and if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to be building a giant heart topiary. And of course, we're always keeping budget in mind, and I'm really excited about this. And I picked up a couple of supplies at mostly Walmart this time. I picked up this pot for $2.97, and it's cute, but I thought we could dress it up just a little bit. So I found this terracotta saucer, which will actually serve twofold. This is kind of lightweight plastic and this is terracotta, so it's a little bit heavier. But I thought we could make a little pedestal base by using this. Somewhere around here, I've got a dowel, so I will need to find that. But I've got a really cool, fun tool that I've never used before that you are gonna use and experience with me for the very first time. So I'm excited to try that. So the first thing we're gonna do is paint our little terracotta saucer just on the outside. We don't really need to do the top or the bottom because it won't be seen, just the edges. Then we're gonna glue the pot to the saucer and create a base. And I just like the way this looks a lot better. While we're painting things up, I'm gonna use this Antique Wax by Waverly to put on the dowel to kind of give it more of like a natural feel. And I've decided to use that instead of stain because I feel like it will dry a little quicker than stain and that will speed up the process for us. Next up, I start by gluing together two pieces of this white crafting foam that I already had on hand. However, I end up not liking this product at all for this project, so stick with me to the end. I have a better solution for you. So if you end up recreating this look, you're definitely gonna wanna know what that is. Then I took some leftover wrapping paper from a Christmas and I cut it out into 17 by 22 inches. This is approximately the size of the heart that I am aiming for. And then I fold it in half with a grid exposed. This will help when you're drawing out your heart as a template. I happen to already have this Dollar Tree felt heart on hand that I kind of used as a guide, but it was really not necessary. Using a Sharpie, I traced this template onto my foam, and now you're gonna wanna meet me outside for my new tool. I decided to do this outside, but you don't necessarily need to do that. You just need to be careful because we are gonna be using a hot knife. So this is plugged in, it's turned on, and this is meant for cutting styrofoam with. It was not very expensive, and I'm gonna be using this for a couple of projects, so I decided to go ahead and do that. You can do this without this hot knife. You can use just a regular serrated edge and cut it, or a utility knife. But I decided to use the hot knife because it's gonna make the job easier. I'm gonna go ahead and use that tool for other things. Now we're gonna use this for the very first time. I've never used a hot knife before. I hear it's pretty awesome to work with, but we'll see how it goes. So, so we're gonna just take our hot knife. Be very careful, you don't wanna burn yourself. I don't know how hot it gets. We're just gonna start by poking it. Ooh, oh my word, it melts like butter. This is awesome. Holy moly, this works better than I thought. Oh. I made a boo-boo, but that's okay. This doesn't have to be like super, super perfect. So this is a good thing to practice on because we're gonna be putting some boxwood greenery over the top of it. But with some practice, I do wanna be precise because I have some projects where I'm gonna need to be pretty precise. It is seriously cutting so smoothly. Ooh, it's a little stinky, so it's good that we're doing this outside. It just melts it away. That's crazy. This tool is so cool. Okay, here comes our heart. Boom, so that's our first area. <laughs> now we're gonna do the outside. It melts quickly, so don't leave it in the same spot for a long period of time. And we're gonna go ahead and just finish this out. Okay, so this part is gonna seem a little crazy and just 
just hear me out and go with it. I've got some moss that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and it comes in thick clumps and we could glue it on like that, but I think I want a finer misting. And we have styrofoam and it's white and we don't want the white poking through with our boxwood that we're gonna put on top of it. So my thought was that we'd break up the moss by throwing it in the food processor and then we'd put like a coating of moss on this. So we'll just rename this our moss processor. So we'll just kind of break this up into chunks in here and we'll pulse it. All right, so we've got our styrofoam heart here and we are just gonna take some matte Mod Podge, whatever Mod Podge you have, and I'm just gonna toss it on here. Woo! <laughs> I'm making a mess. <laughs> That's why we're outside. We'll take some of our moss and just kind of press it on. And we don't need to be perfect about getting this moss on just because it's just kind of to help fill in some of the gaps and we're gonna be putting green over the top of it anyways. Yeah, this does not feel like it's gonna stick very good. I'm not feeling confident about this. See, this is the thing with crafting. Like a lot of DIYers will show you the beautiful end product, but not the process of getting it to the beautiful end product. So I don't know if I'm liking this. I like the idea of the moss, the reality of the moss. I'm not sure why that's drying. I am gonna tell you what we're gonna be covering it with and maybe so we can start on this side while it's drying and see if that helps. So these bushes are 97 cents at Walmart and you actually get kind of a lot on it. So I pretty much bought everything that they had and they cleared them out twice. So I bought a lot and we'll see how many we use. So I'm not gonna lie to you, this part is going to take a long time, but the key here is to avoid sticking the boxwood straight out. You want to place them in on an angle. Also, I cut the tips off of all of them to allow it to be a little bit tighter and for me to use less boxwood overall because you can spread it out a little bit better. This is the project that never ends. I've got glue all over, my fingers look like this. I am optimistic about the end result, but I would definitely approach this differently if I were to do it again. So stick with me for my lessons learned. So now that I'm ready to work on the other side, I've decided it's time to assemble our topiary. So I've got our pot here that we put together and then I've got a bag of sand. Now, back when there was a category five hurricane head straight for our community, we got a whole bunch of sandbags. So I have a ton of it on hand, it's free. Thankfully, the hurricane missed and did not hit our community, so we didn't really need them. But now I'm gonna take advantage of it. This is plastic and it's pretty lightweight, so we wanna give it a solid base. Plus we want to support our dowel. So I'm just gonna put some of the sand in here. Now feel free to use rocks or whatever you have on hand. I don't know if I can lift this. <laughs> I'm a whip, I'm a whip. All right, okay, I got it. <laughs> All right, so we know that that's gonna be nice and sturdy because that was heavy for me to lift. And I'm gonna fill this about half up. There's like a nice seam that's a perfect place for me to stop, get this in there. And then we're gonna put some foam on top of this that we'll cover up with moss. I'm just gonna take the two tops of the hearts that were scrapped and kind of measure that. So we'll cut that kind of to fit. We'll use our hot knife again and we'll just cut it down as we need because our knife will help us. Waste not, want not. We could have used a fresh piece of styrofoam, but I just didn't see the purpose in it, especially since we're gonna just take the remainder of our moss and put it in here to cover it up. Dollar Tree Moss. I'm kind of tired of bending over and we need to do the other side anyways. And so now it's time to attach this. We're gonna attempt to put this on. We'll see what happens. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm gonna troubleshoot this. Okay, so 
This ended up being my solution. It's not pretty. I'm not happy about this, but what I did is I bought a dowel that was rather large and I knew it was going to be kind of cutting it close, but unfortunately it's just a little bit too big. If I were to go back, I'd probably do a 5 8 dowel instead of a 7 8 dowel, but I really wanted it to be beefy, kind of like an actual topiary would grow off of. Um, an actual branch. So, I mean, it's not pretty. I think when it's all said and done, you won't be able to tell, but we're gonna have to cover that up. And what I'm gonna do is just cover it up with some more of this moss. But unfortunately, this is not gonna poke through that. So we'll end up having to hot glue on all of the boxwood in this area. And because that's our, really our only option at this point. If I were to make another one of these, I would do many things different. Lucky for you, you get to learn from my mistakes. Yay! <laughs> First, I wouldn't use white foam. I would use the green floral foam. It's much sturdier, stiffer, and already green to begin with. Second, you really don't need to blend the moss and I wouldn't even glue it on. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. Having worked professionally as a floral designer for several years, I should have known better, but I should have just used floral pins to pin the moss into place. Finally, I would attach the stiffer green foam to the dowel before ever putting on any greenery at all. While I would give my final aesthetic result an A minus, I would probably give myself a C minus at best for execution. So I hope you can learn a little bit from my mistakes. If you enjoyed this episode, I really think you'll love my way cool dirt cheap Valentine's decor ideas. You can check that episode out right here. And until next time, bye.